Hey boo, welcome and welcome back. I'm Valerie and I am so happy that you are here. And a quick uh, thanks and thanks in advance for giving my videos a like, for sharing, for commenting, for subscribing. That means so much to me. Um, now, today is the video is is based on something that is so super common that happens and was uh, the perfect example came uh, in a, an email from uh, one of my subscribers at, who has been uh, something of a regular here on, in the community. And I wanted to share a bit about what they said because they recently had a huge transformation, whether you want to call it a, a realization, a revelation, an enlightenment, uh, whatever that means for you. And it was a recognition for them that they could let go of all the attempts to keep um, adding something on all the shiny object syndrome, all the extra stuff that was actually keeping them from understanding who they are. And it's like that scene in a, uh, <laughs> that often comes in a sci-fi picture or an action thriller of some kind where the, uh, the hero is, is standing there uh, in the in the midst of the debris after taking down all of the other bad guys and looking around and looking around and then at the last moment and I'll tell you what that is after I tell you what the email said I have been observing myself as days pass and seeing how the old fears are haunting me a bit old self, quote unquote, is questioning my decision. And that was the decision that they don't need any more uh, coaching or modalities or therapies or anything else, anything extra. Um, that it's questioning my de her decision, that there's no other obvious evidence right now in 3D, so it seems, uh, to support my new inner decision. And this comes up so much for so many of us that the scene I was referring to in those kinds of movies where the hero just took down a whole squadron of the bad guys and they're looking around the debris and the body count and everything seems quiet. And then out of nowhere, there's one straggler who attacks, who tries to attack. And maybe they're coming in from the rear. Maybe they're sneaking in from the side. Maybe they were hiding under a pile of rubble and up they came. And everybody in the theater, or maybe you're just sitting around at home, y'all sort of jump because that is the last thing you'd have expected. It, it it's preying on our uh, assumption that everything is absolutely chill. And that's kind of what happens here. We have a transformation and it's a feeling that, hey, everything is chill, everything is cool, I'm cool, you know, I'm fine. And we're going along and then whammo, we get hit by an old fear coming up and or something causing doubt, something causing a replay of all the stuff that was already going on in our head that you thought you'd gotten rid of, you thought it was gone, but there it is again. So what do you do? What is the first thing you'd want to do? Is to recognize it's part of the illusion, the illusion of a separate self, of a added meaning that it's almost like 
treating something that comes up as kind of a secondary cause, something external that's causing doubt, but everything comes from within you. There isn't anything else. Whether you want to call it the I am or the universe or God in the form of God that you have believed in and see as the higher being or the higher power, it's there's nothing outside of that. So in a, it's really like you are looking at your reflection and your reflection is going, mm, this is not as cool as you thought, wagging its finger at you. But you have the choice to say, no, I'm not buying into that. Understand that this is all you and you can turn it around in your favor and let go of what doesn't serve you. And it's the doubts that don't serve you. It's the fear coming back. It's the questioning coming back and it's trusting. And if you even want to go further, you can understand that sometimes a first transformation isn't always the one and only last transformation is going to happen for you. There can still be other layers between you and your fullness. And again, that can be part of the illusion even that there are other layers because everything is, everything is now, everything is the moment. So all you're doing is finding more layers, like going up into that attic and every time you go up there, you're finding more stuff, more junk in the attic, more cobwebs, and you're pulling them down. Oh my gosh, so dusty and dark up there. But really, the light, you know, you finally get to that window, that little window at the top of the attic there. And you look and you see there's light there. Oh my gosh, there's light. What do you do? Light comes in. And then you look around the attic and you say, there's nothing dirty here. Everything's shining. It's clear. It's a beautiful space. I love this wonderful space. So this is what happens. We tend to not recognize that we can decide at any moment to have that expansion, that transformation, that ownership of who we truly are. That is you. Knowing that is your, whether you call it I am consciousness, but that is who you are. And in the last paragraph of what uh, my subscriber wrote, they said, I guess all I have to do is keep going back to knowing it is done within. They answer their own question, returning to my decision and try as much as possible not to give the 3D any meaning. So yeah, when you start adding meaning, you can notice that and just go, it's all right, I already made my decision, I already chose. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt me at this point. It's not gonna, it can't do anything to me. It has no power over me. It was just a thought form. Thoughts have no weight. They don't have any weight, you know, W-E-I-G-H-T, but they can put us in a state of weight, W-A-I-T, because we believe we buy into them. We can stop buying into them. Don't give the 3D any meaning. It's, yeah, it's part of the manifestation, but you can redefine it and Turn it around and make it what it is that you want. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this and how this works for you. If you start exploring that, I'd love to know. 
Thank you so much for being with me, Boo. Love you so much, and I'll see you next time.